Hi all, when we say our application deployment is automated via Jenkins, that means we have created a Jenkins job for our deployment. But in most cases, we still have to click on this build now link to start the build and deployment. So in the full pipeline, from writing code in local system to deploying it to server, we still have to manually start the Jenkins job. But if you are thinking, is it possible to automate this job invocation also? The answer is yes. That is where we shall use Git webhooks. So let's start. First thing we need to understand is that Jenkins has its own REST API. Using that REST API endpoints, we can interact with Jenkins outside from its own UI. To start build of a Jenkins job, we need to call the API endpoint as Jenkins host slash job after that job name and then build. So for this job, the API endpoint for starting a build will be the Jenkins host slash job. Then the AWS code board deployment, the job name, and finally slash build. Let's try it from Postman. So, I have put the URL for the specific job build here. Let's change the method to post and submit it. As you can see, the error message here is HTTP error 403, no valid Chrome was included in the request. And also the response status is 403 forbidden. Now it is obvious that we need to provide some kind of token for authentication right? Let's generate that. Let's go back to the browser, where you have already logged in, into Jenkins. And hit the endpoint, Chrome issuer slash API slash JSON, in a separate tab maybe. Now you will get a JSON response. In the JSON, you will get one attribute called Chrome. Copy the Chrome token. Let's go back to Postman once again. In the request header, add one header Jenkins dash Chrome. And put the value as the copied token. Now we have to put another header here, authorization. And require to put the value as, basic space, username and password. But we need to encode this username and password, into base64. So let's find our online base64 encoder quickly. So, there we go. We have the base64 encoded string. Now let's use this in Postman. And hit the endpoint. Oh, sorry. We need to include the authorization header. Yes, it worked. Right. We got the 201 response. Let's go back to Jenkins. Refresh it you will get to see a new job has started. Now let's go to GitHub repository. Go to settings. Click on webhooks. Click on create webhook. Let me give my password. And then you can notice that there is a text field for providing a URL. And at the top is is saying that, we'll send a post request to the URL below. Now if we scroll down a bit, you can see there are different Git repository related events. One of those is push event. So, if we select push event, that means whenever any code will be pushed, the above URL will be called automatically. So you can think, we can just put the job invocation URL here, and when any new code will be pushed, Jenkins job will be started. But the problem is, GitHub does not support any custom header, which are required for authorization. So, you can not just put the Jenkins job invocation URL here, we need to do a workaround. Before going forward, let me request you, please subscribe my channel Codeboard. Your subscription, like, and comments motivates me to create such interesting videos for all of you. So, now I am writing a simple PHP script, which will invoke the Jenkins URL via curl. You can choose any language, like Python. Let me add the headers in the curl call.
And we are done. In URL I am using localhost, because I am going to host it in same server, where Jenkins is hosted. And, these are our custom headers. I have now logged into an AWS Windows Server via RDP. I have XAMPP Server installed here, and Apache is running. Now let me create a PHP file, inside XAMPP Server's docs folder. Unfortunately, I am not being able to copy file directly from my local system. So let's copy the developed PHP files content from my local system, and paste it here. I'm going to hit the PHP file from my local system browser now. Apache is running an 80 port, so we don't have to put port here. And as you can see, PHP script executed here, without any error. Now if I go back to Jenkins, you can notice a new job is going to start here, which is invoked by the PHP scripts API call. And now the job is started. So let's copy the PHP files URL and paste it in GitHub webhooks. The expectation is, whenever we shall push any code in this repository, a new job in Jenkins should be started to build the application. Let's save it. And we are now at the final stage of our testing. In left hand side you can notice the Jenkins job. And in right hand side, I have the GitHub project, configured in Eclipse. Let's make a change here in the return string. and commit it. Let's push it now to GitHub. And bingo! A new job is started here. We have now removed the build job invocation step manually. Let's wait for a few seconds, before the job gets completed. Let's test our application. Sorry, I put an extra slash there. Yes, so that's our updated output, right? Now, there is two things I want to mention. First, the crumb token gets expired after a time interval. So we need to generate this token, each time before invocation of a new job, which we need to do programmatically. And second, the base64 encryption of username and password also, we should do programmatically. I shall cover these two points in my next video. So please subscribe, to be notified about my upcoming videos earliest. Also please like and share your feedback. Thank you and bye.